welcome to my channel. If you're thinking about getting a canary, or already have a canary, and want to learn a little bit more, then stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about the pet canary. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more pet related videos. So stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the pet canary. The canary is very, a very small bird, very active, very sweet and very cute bird and they're not very noisy they don't scream the males do sing a beautiful song some females can sing as, as well but not as well as the males the pet canary is more bird oriented than it is people oriented unless you get a hand fed canary like my canary up here i hand fed her since she was two days old and she does fly to my head and my shoulder but not my hand but there are some that will but if you just get a canary from a breeder that's never been hand fed they're more of a hands-off bird but some people have said they can tame them if you have like one canary they come to you land on your hand eat some food and and whatnot but the majority of canaries are hands-off they're a little bit skittish and shy they're more of a bird to look at and enjoy their their song now there's three types of canary you can get. There's the song canary, which are bred for their songs, such as the American singer, the water slider, and the German roller. And then there's the color canary, which are bred for their colors, such as the, uh, the solid white, The reds, the browns, the yellows, bronze, all kinds of, of colors. They're bred for their color, but they can also sing as well. And then there is the type canary. The type canaries are bred for their type, meaning they're bred for, hi sweetie, they're bred for their size. They're the really large canaries called uh, the Norwich or the border canaries. They're really huge, they're pretty tall. And then you have the, uh, the frill canaries, which they have feathers that are all frilly all over their body. They're really neat looking. And some canaries have like a bent, a bent spine, they're different shapes. And then you have the little small little fives, uh, which are really, really cute. And then you have other types that have this little hairdo on their, their head. It just looks like a little part in their head. Yeah, so basically they're, bed, they're bred for their type. Now canaries like wide open spaces. They need room to fly as they don't climb like a budgie or a parrot. They have the little soft bill that's pointy. They don't have a hook so they can't climb. So they need, they need to fly so the cage should be wider than it is taller. You can have a tall cage but make sure it's wide. And um, I say the minimum size cage would be 18 inches. That's if you're going to let your canary out every day for a fly. If you don't let the canary out then obviously get a big cage like a, a flight cage that they can fly and enjoy uh, their time because canaries can live for quite a while and it's not um, you know healthy for them to live in a small little area for like 10 15 years so you want to get the biggest cage make sure you have the perches that go this way from front to back and not horizontal you can have one of them but they fly this way back and forth and one thing I can recommend is don't get a plastic perch has because they jump so much they jump from the perches they can get uh, sore feet, which is called a bumble foot. They get like a callus. It can be really hard and lumpy. It's really very uncomfortable uh, for the bird. So when you want to get soft wood or the rope perches, and you want to have different sizes of perches throughout the cage and make sure you get a roosted perch because when they sleep, they like to sleep up high. They really like that or a swing. Mine sleeps in the swing or the, the perch on the top. So get a nice, big, long cage. You can also train your canary to go back in the cage if you're worried about letting your canary out. My canaries are all trained. They know where their cage is and they go back. Sometimes they don't want to go in, but they will eventually go in. So in order to get them in, you have to put their cage in the same spot all the time. If you move it around, they won't know where to go. And um, you can put a perch on the outside of the cage, attach it on the outside so they can land on it. E easier landing to go in the cage or put some kind of, if you got a, a play stand or a, a bird tree, put it close to the cage 
so they can land on on that or something they can land on to go back in the cage and you can entice them with uh, a piece of millet or like romaine lettuce just put it in there they see it and they'll go in but you want to let them out for a couple hours or at least an hour if you let them out five minutes they're not going to want to go back in because they want to have a good time um, while they're out of their cage and also some canaries are fussy about how they go in the cage and the door style you have like I have uh, different cages and I have one cage where the door is huge so I can just open that wide wide open so there's a big you know square space and they can fly right in if I have another cage it's a guillotine door which goes up and down I open up the door and the canary won't go in because it likes to go from the top to fly in but the door is kind of blocking him so I really have to close that door open a small door that's there lift it up tie it up and put a perch there where the canary jumps in and goes in and some of my canaries like to go in the side door so you just have to see what they like and how which way they want to go in because if they're not going in just just change it up and you'll have a very happy canary that can come out and go back in canaries love to bathe every day even in the winter and my canaries actually prefer cold water i've offered them warmer water in the winter and what do they do they go to their water dish and bathe in the cold water and they don't want to go in the warm water so they like a cool bath canaries bathe um, they love to bathe especially in the morning you can offer them like a bowl at the bottom of their cage or on top of their cage or one of those uh, bird baths that you stick on the door of the cage like if you get a guillotine door you just um, put the bird bath there and um, hopefully they'll jump right in and take a bath and they like wanting running water if if your canary is tame you can turn on the tap and they'll, they'll go in there now canaries are small but they do eat a lot of food you can offer them the canary seed and some canary pellets mine prefer the seed over the pellets but they do eat both and they do like millet and they like a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables i offer mine greens every day i offer romaine lettuce is their favorite and they like kale and broccoli apples corn carrots to shred them up make them small because they can't really chew it like a budgie would you know they have to eat it kind of whole and um, you, you offer them egg food there's all kinds of things I like to eat brown rice and quinoa so you can offer them all kinds of food mine love cucumbers as well and grapes so just um, offer them whatever you can but don't offer anything that's bad for them like chocolates no avocado no onions now if you have a pet canary especially a male they should be housed by themselves they will fight they never house even any canary actually house them all by themselves unless you have a huge fly cage all the females can go in there but when it's breeding season they will fight so it's best if you have just pets just have their own cage and they can all come out together even now i have two males i have to take turns because uh, it's kind of breeding season but let them out together they will they will fight so i have all my canaries housed in their own house where it's safe um you know some canaries will get along with each other but one day you'll come home to one canary not there anymore so if you're just having pets, I mean, breeding is a whole different subject. It's, it's a lot of work to breed. You have to be knowledgeable about breeding and how you handle them. They all go together. When they're not breeding, when they're breeding, they're all separated. So um, as a pet, just, just keep them separate. Do yourself a favor and your bird a favor. Keep them all separate. And cleaning the cage, um, you know, it's not hard to do if you change the paper daily or every two or three days, that's fine. And do a weekly scrubbing of the cage in the base of the cage. Um, the cleaner the better and make sure you always clean the perches you don't want the perches to get dirty where the birds are always sitting on on the dirty perch and canaries uh toy wise they, they don't really play like other birds do but mine love the preening toys there's um, this material like shredding material and they just you know pull on especially the females they like to, to pull on the, um, the toys to give them you know something to do now health wise you need to cut your canaries nails about at least once a month maybe sooner as they get older the nails seem to grow longer but canaries nails grow really fast so you want to be able to learn how to do that yourself or you have a, a, a bird groomer or avian vet to do that for you you can't let them get too long they'll get caught in stuff it's not comfortable for the bird now never clip your canaries wings 
has they need them to fly. If you cut their wings, it'll be pretty sad because they can't get from one space to the next space. I mean, they can hop if you have them in a small space, but if you got them in a the nice large cage, they won't be able to make it to the next perch. So never clip your canaries, even for training wise. It's not, it's not very fair for a bird. Uh, and you know, especially a canary, any floody birds, like canaries, finches, anything that needs to, to fly a lot, you don't want to, you don't want to clip their wings. Now some canaries are prone to feather cysts. It's when the feather is ingrown in the skin and they get these cysts on their bodies. So you need uh, veterinary care or if you know what you're doing, you can take care of it yourself, but sometimes you can't, the cysts will stay there. They might need to be surgically uh, removed. So that's one thing a canary can get. They can also, they're prone to balding on their back of their head. I mean, they don't pluck it off, it's just, it's just balding. Sometimes you give them kale um, or other uh, supplements can help the feathers grow back, but um, your canary will just be the same, you know, act the same and do everything the same, and it just won't have any feathers on the back. They're just like prone to that. And sometimes the male canary will lose its song. Sometimes when they get older, they don't sing. But if they don't sing for a long time, it could be environmental that they're lonely or sad or they don't like the location or that they're ill. So you can seek out veterinary care if you think your bird is not feeling well. Now, if you have a female canary, they can get uh, egg binding, which means that canaries, even if you have one canary as a female, they'll, they'll still lay eggs. They won't be fertile because they need the male to mate with for the uh, egg to be fertile, but they still want to lay eggs. So you have to be careful they don't get egg bound, which means the egg gets stuck inside, it can't come out. So you have to get veterinary care for that as well. Now canaries are prone to air sac mites. And you can know that if your bird is uh, breathing heavily or is breathing the beaks opening and closing or you hear rasping. So you have to get treatment for that. So seek out uh, veterinary care for that. And if you notice um, any a scale like scaly legs or a build of a scale, they don't necessarily get mites on the legs. They can, but there's another condition where they just get scale buildups. Canaries are prone to a buildup of scales on their legs, especially when they get older. And you really have to take care of that. I have a bird, the one that was on my head, with that problem. I'll put the link below to her vet visit and you can you can check it out. Now canaries have a very delicate respiratory system so you don't want to use like air fresheners around them, any candles or plug-ins. You have to be very, very careful what you use around your canary or any birds for that matter. Um, it could just kill them within seconds and how you cook don't put them near the kitchen. If you burn a pan, a Teflon um, could kill them. So you have to be very careful about what you use around, around your birds. Now the average lifespan of a canary is 10 to 15 years. The females seem to live less if they're a chronic egg layer. That takes a lot out of them. The males will live a little bit longer. Hopefully the females will too. If they stay healthy and they were bred really good, they can live a very long time. So overall the canary is a very nice little bird to have, especially if you live in an apartment and you don't like a lot of noise and you don't have a lot of like time, hands-on time to, to pet a bird like a, like a parrot. They're very hands-on, they're nice to watch and listen to and I highly recommend them and they come on a lot of different colors and types and sizes. So I want to thank you so much for watching and if you have any comments, if you have anything to add that I missed or you want to ask me a question, just put it down below there in the comments and make sure to subscribe so you won't miss my upcoming videos. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.